Pocket shot, baby, pocket shot. Drop it, drop it like it's hot. Yeah, the bulge is real small. Hey, it's not about the bulge. <laughs> it's not about the bulge size now. It's a matter of what, it matters what's inside. It's not about the size of your bulge. Okay? Come on, Kai Hong. It's all about the quality now. It's all about the quality, not how big your bulge is. Okay. There we go. What's up, everyone? We are back. It is Samsung Day, of course. Four phones were announced. We're going to be talking about, uh, we'll talk about the S20s in a separate video, but I got to talk about one phone in particular right now in this that has really, really, really impressed me. It is the Samsung Z Flip. Now, if you did see my review on the Samsung Fold, do check that out. We'll put a link in the description below. That was my favorite Samsung device of 2020. That was my favorite Samsung device of 2019. And this could be my favorite Samsung device of 2020 right here. It's only February. We haven't even seen the notes yet, or if they're gonna come out with another fold. But this phone is really impressed me. Let's talk about it. First off, this is the Z Flip. Comes in two variants, purple and black. I like the black. You might like purple. Both are beautiful, but to me, the black is a bit more still. Now, I am of that age where star techs and Razer phones and Samsung flip phones, that's what I grew up on, right? And that brings you right back into that. But the build quality, and this, this is what you really got to feel in your hand. This, there's nothing cheap about this phone in terms of build quality. This is solid through and through. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh. Do you see a gap? Do you see a gap? It's barely there. Barely there. Okay. I'm going on and on. Let's talk about the specs. We'll go into the, uh, the overall first impression. Specs are 6.7 inch FHD plus display. I think it's around 425 PPI for you pixel peepers out there. You got a Snapdragon 855 plus processor in this up to 256 gigabytes of onboard storage, eight gigabytes of RAM. I got the paper over there. So, cause this is the first impressions. I literally just got my hands on this about an hour ago. Um, this is not a 5G phone. This is a LTE phone, but it's got all the latest specs on it. And yeah, it's pretty much flagship specs in a foldable phone. That's pretty much it. But here's the thing about the display, right? It is AMOLED display, but it has flexible glass. We've never seen flexible glass. That window is solid. It doesn't move. This glass bends. Seriously, folks, what a time to be alive in technology to see flexible glass. It's like Samsung broke into Area 51 and they got something from some UFO ship and they put into this phone. I don't know. Anyway, a little extreme, but anyway, it's quite amazing to see this in person. Let's talk about the weight of this. Now, I think it's around 183 grams, so it's not really light, light, but it's not heavy. It feels really solid, feels really robust in the hand. Um, the glass has got a nice curvature to it. It just feels like this kind of cushiony feel to it. And this is something that you really have to, when you see it in a picture, it's one thing, but you have to get your hands on this to really understand. Really, there's a lot of engineering that went into this. And you could see that Samsung took a lot from the Fold. They brought it into this. They fixed a lot of the things that some people didn't like about the Fold. I personally love that advice. I thought it was fantastic. It was a game changer for uh, foldable phones or any kind of phone for that, mar and for that matter. It's the most innovative phone in 2019, in my personal opinion. This just took it to another level. Now you do have a slight bezel on the side of this. Again, not a problem at all, but you're not gonna be able to scratch this, this display with your fingernail or worry about some sort of dust particles getting in there and scratching it because it is glass, right? It is very clear, very vibrant, very, very sharp display. Now, is it a 120 Hertz refresh rate like the S20s? No, but you're not gonna miss it unless you have those next to each other. It works great. But there's a lot of, thing about, a lot of things about this phone that really make it special. We'll talk about the, the top of it first. Now, there is a small display on the front of this, right? And this display actually is for your notifications. You can use it for a selfie cam, all those kind of things. It's not meant to like read a lot of information on there, okay? That's fine. Back in the early 2000s, when we had our flip phones out there, guys, for those who remember that, we didn't have all those, that information there either, and we got along fine with it. Anyway, it's all the magic happens when you open it up. Then you got your cameras over there as well, so you can do all the, all the photography that you need. You want to do your selfie mode, you can do all that. It's there, it's available. You have two cameras, ultra wide and, st and standard. Uh, so no issues with that at all. We'll talk about that in just a second. Um, 
Now, also, there's a, you need to take note of it. There's two batteries in this, so that's, I'm guessing, why there isn't a larger display on the front of this device, because they have two batteries to give you a total amplitude of 3,300 milliamp of battery usage out of this. So, in this size, that's gonna get you throughout the day, I'm guessing, no issues at all. Okay, but then when you open it up, one thing you can do about this flip phone that you weren't able to do with a lot of flip phones is you can position it however you want it. Look at that. So, theoretically, if I want to vlog or if I want to do a makeup tutorial, I can do that. Set the angle correctly, get a light. Kai Hong's got the light on me. I'm looking more, I'm looking pretty. And I could do my makeup tutorial. I don't do those, by the way, because no one would watch me do that. Or I could talk or I could do a little vlogging session. It's there. Also, I can watch a video and scroll through the comments and other videos underneath it, which is quite amazing. Or blow your mind, I can watch a video like this, curved display, you know the Samsung TV curved displays? It's here in the phone. I can do that. Look at that, that's pretty amazing. Now, a lot of you can ask, well, what about the crease in the, in the display? Yes, the crease is there. It's not as um, pronounced as the fold, but it is still there. But honestly, it's like a notch or anything else. After a while, you use this phone for about 10, 15 minutes. You just sort of forget the creases there and you just kind of go on with your daily life. It's not a big issue. It doesn't distort the display. It doesn't distort anything that I've seen in terms of text. It just, you just scroll right through it and it's fine. No issues at all with that. Um, again, this is a first impressions. We're gonna get our hands on the device, I would say maybe in the coming weeks and hopefully get some more days with it to tell you what it's like to use daily out there. But I gotta tell you, man, this is, um, it, what a time to be alive, man. seriously. We have foldable phones in the early 2000s and those went away. We got, these, we got the great large displays now with all that information, but now we're back to having a 6.7 inch display. I can fold up, put in my pocket. If I wanna work out, go to the gym, go cycling. I don't have to worry about, I don't have to worry about if I'm wearing too tight a pants for my phone anymore. And I kind of wear tight pants sometimes. Kai Hong, he complains about that. Yeah. I don't have to worry about that now with this phone. Z Flip, I'm impressed. It's gonna be launched here in Singapore on the 14th of February, Valentine's Day. I think for prices around $2,000, right under that range here in Singapore dollars. Not the cheapest phone, but then again, you're getting a lot of technology into this. Um, we are waiting for the Tom Brown edition. I heard that Singapore might not get it. So I'm going to make a public declaration right now to Samsung Singapore if you're watching this video. Bring the Tom Brown edition into Singapore. It's beautiful, it's stunning. That awesome gray, the stripes, comes with the watch, comes with the earbuds, comes with the case. Beautiful packaging. Tom Brown edition. We would love to have that. Anyway, I think the Z Flip is gonna be a home run. I think it's going to, this is gonna be probably the favorite Samsung device for a lot of you out there, uh, for the first half of the year at least. Um, I can't wait to get this through the full review, but right now, I'm impressed and nobody's paying me for this thought, for this, Nobody's paying me for these thoughts, right? These are my thoughts and my thoughts only. The Z Flip, baby. Oh, what a beautiful phone. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like always, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. Until the next one, take care.